Innovation, I think, in my mind, is a, a journey. It's a process rather than... Uh, so I use it like a verb, not as a name. Um, and so it's, it's literally the process from having an idea to actually doing something about that, that idea in practice. So I think innovation should really be about creativity. So starting from zero and then creating something out of nothing. I, I really do believe that it's, it's the combination of creativity, courage, and resilience. And those are the, those are the key kind of aspects of it. And, and the creativity is somewhat self-explanatory, um, but it's the courage to then take ideas, uh, find a way in your organization to implement, prove, try, experiment uh, based on the, the ideation phase, and then the inevitability that, you know, most of those ideas will fail for one reason or another is, um, is really part of the game. When I think about innovation, it really is solving a problem that has an anticipated problem not necessarily a problem that people are currently having. So I really think about innovation in a way that's really um, about foresight. And I would define innovation as something that is both new and relevant. And relevant means that it's not a solution looking for a problem. It really is a solution addressing somebody's problem or some, what somebody's trying to achieve. And, and that makes it relevant. Innovation is very simply beneficial change. Um, but it's all about context. It's all about uh, where you are, what's the best benefit you can deliver for the least cost and the, uh, and the least effort, and how you can keep doing that over time. And I think it's a really important element that innovation is a process where you experiment. Doesn't mean that every experiment succeeds. Invariably, um, you know, you want some level of failure, but it's applying the learnings from that failure to ultimately lead to, to tangible outcomes. I think that's very important. I think people who are innovative take risks, take chances, um, really go for something that perhaps isn't there before. I think we see a lot of you know, customer-led innovation uh, at RFI Group and also on Sky, I probably should mention as well, is looking to what the customer needs and what they want and then innovating with that respect. Uh, when you think about innovation, you need to really think uh, about uh, what am I bring to clients, uh, how that experience is changing, what kind of uh, solutions and services am I bringing to them, and uh, how, they, uh, um, how the end-to-end -end proposition is going to change. Obviously, we're talking about technological improvements. Um, what we've seen over time is uh, banks and financial institutions have always been applying you know, new technologies. Uh, what is different this time, I think, that there's a, a big leap that these institutions are making in the applicability of those technologies, uh, the scale of application, and also the, 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 the enormous change in, in the use cases, basically. So, for example, if you look at data, um, the way that data can be stored, analyzed, um, uh, processed right now is, is totally different from just a couple of years ago. And so I think what's happening is what we rapidly were talking about innovation seven or eight years ago is becoming the norm. Let me give you a straight example. I think six or seven years ago when I did Future Money showcased um, blockchain. Today blockchain isn't something innovative. Blockchain is all over the floor. Everybody's talking about it. Everybody's talking about not if but when. So I think this rapid transformation of ideas into reality is having a shorter and shorter gestation period than we've ever seen before.